Hi everyone, my name is Tarare. I'm a member of Geospatial AI Research and Visualization Lab at Department of Geography and Environmental Studies of University of New Mexico. Today, I'm giving you a brief introduction and demo for iWorld University Ranking, an interactive web app for world university ranking. University ranking websites or systems have a large number of visitors every year. For people who seek information about the higher education systems and scholars use them as an essential tool in the choice of joining an institution. Higher education ranking system provides important insights into students' decision-making and consequently help them choose the higher education institutes. Our university ranking aims to visualize the data set of the QS university ranking so students and scholars around the world could gain knowledge and insights about the universities to help them make appropriate decision for their future institution of higher education and our job seeking through geospatial big data and geovisualization. Our target users are researchers or scholars who seek information about the higher education system as an essential tool in the choice of joining an institution. Researchers or scholars who are interested in information about future institution of higher education and are job seeking. Students or international students who need information to choose the higher education institute or for study abroad. Students who are interested in information about future institutions of higher education and or job seeking. Now I'll give you a brief demo of our web map app. So this is the main page of our web map app. And from the navigation bar, you can see we have different sections and different sections have different components. I will highly encourage you to get started from this right corner Click about to project, about the project to get to know our project and our web app team. Our lab advocates open source and supports open science. Anyone can use or modify our web app code, commercial or personal use, but you are required to give credit to GRL Lab. The iWorld University Ranking Web App is under MIT license. You can also click um, this page. So it will give you brief explanation of some of the data fields used in our web app, whose meaning may not be easily conveyed by their names. And you can also find the data structure that we use to develop this web app. So you can see from here, um, we have total um, 1,497 university recorded in this web app. And we have this web map to show the geospatial distribution of world universities with a continent bar chart, country and city road charts, and also have this location numbers chart. We have type, size, research intensity, subject range, and age donut chart. You can see it has these tool tips um, tell you what kind of meaning these charts have. We have this collapsible content from 2019s um, for the six indicators of university ranking scores, including international student ratio, international faculty ratio, faculty student ratio, citation per faculty, academic reputation, and employer reputation. We also have overall score of universities from 2019 to 2024. We have this data table that shows all the information recorded in this web application. You can see here's a scroll, scrollable bar and you can see all the scores and ranks in this table. You can also search here um, for the university that you are interested in. So our web application is interactive. Um, all legends of the donut charts are scrollable and filterable, all bars rows, um, donut slices are clickable, and you can click them to filter out the information that you're interested in. Um, also, the focus and range chart can be used to select the certain score range for the universities that you are interested in. I'll give you a brief demo shortly. Um, so how to do selection for the university that you're interested in? Um, for example, you can just do 
one simple selection to filter out the university. For example, if you are interested in all the universities in the United States, you can click United States here and you see the map is filtered to the United States area. Um, there are 199 universities is recorded in this web app. Um, you can see all the other charts and the data table are filtered out based on your selection. Um, you can click reset to go back to the original version. Um, you can also do multiple selection in one chart, for example, United States and Japan. Oh, United States and Italy. Um, so you can see there are 241 universities selected, all the other charts and data table is selected based on your selection. You can click reset to let everything go back to its original version. You can also do multiple selection in one chart and combine it with other selection on other charts. For example, if you want to see all the universities in Europe, and their public universities, and they have very high research intensity. You can do this collection, selection combination. Uh, maybe you also want very high research intensity. So now you can see there are 447 universities are selected and the data table and these charts are updated based on your selection. You might want to see, okay, I want to see the overall ranking score is from 90 to 100. So you can go to this focus chart and select this score range. From here, you can see more detailed range. You can then select more detail, for example, from 94 to 100. Now, based on your selection, there are three universities are selected. You can click the marker to get to know more information about this university. And the text highlighted in blue um, are web link. You can click the link to go to the corresponding web page. You can click reset next to each chart to reset the chart. And you can also click reset all to that the whole web app go to its original version. It might take a little bit because we have a lot of data need to be loaded. Now you can see everything go back to its original and you can do sim similar selection to find the university that you are interested in. Our web app advisor is Dr. Li Ping Yang. Um, she worked on data structure, web design, web programming, and web app icon design. Um, I'm the web map design and developer, and Katie also helped web app icon design. Thank you so much.